Have you ever wondered what would happen once the machines took over? How would reality be once all humans died out? So to explore that very premise, we can play a game called Atrio the Dark Wild, which is set in a post-apocalyptic cyberpunk uh, universe. It's published by Isto and is scheduled to release later this year. Is that a battery? I'm guessing so. It looks like a fuel cell. Wow, that's some nice moves. The music is pretty funky too. Employee 3123. Okay, we are fueled. And we go into a simulation. I get it. So basically, we are androids and we get batteries. And we then go ahead and do some do the will of our masters with the life that we have. WASD, tap crafting menu, harvesters, okay, to harvest those things, graph pipes. Okay, you can link graph pipes to boxes. Oh, there are factories too over here. So basically to change something. Okay, so there are the two types of ores. Mini deer essential for survival, but I don't think it's there in this demo. So I'm not going to pay attention to that. So let's just start. That's uh, the crash course from me about the tutorial. I really think the tutorial could be better on this game. Otherwise, it's pretty interesting. Dispatching employee number 3514. Okay, so our number has changed for some reason. Depot. Okay, oh, we are literally like pushed it. I get it. Oh, this is station 3. So now we need some fuel. So we get some fuel from these glow plants. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest these things. And as I step into the dark, there are many eyes watching me. So there's... I don't know, are these the remainder of the corrupted humans or just some denzine of the dark? I mean, there are other things other than humans in this world, if you don't know. Okay, so now we fueled and got some lights up. But then this fuel is very low and it's not going to last for long. And as you can understand, we get plus 100 per glow tube. Might as well just dump everything in there. Now, if while we play this game, it is really essential to keep a healthy supply of glow tube with you. Because as soon as you get the... Uh, the alerts that the glow tube or the fuel is gone less you should immediately uh, run back and put more in why because see you will get busy doing multiple things and these glow bulbs are the fuel okay so for some reason the put into thing option is not coming so i'd rather remove this stump here as you see small bugs so this is one third repaired. So there are three stages of repairing it, and it's it's now uh, working in its emergency mode, and it's plugged into us. It's adding some recipes. Okay, so basically the blood rock and the blood ore. One new task. Okay. Mine blood rock, craft craft blood ore. Okay. So basically, uh, see the thing is you yourself are a kind of factory. You yourself uh, can do uh, basic crafts or processes. So the goal would be that in the short term or when you need something instantly, you do it yourself. But uh, to ensure a constant supply, you set up a machine or a process to ensure that that keeps producing even while you are doing something else. Two thirds repaired, huh? fine okay we are teleported back to that spot adding recipes what is this we've got a makeshift torch scrap wires and wires okay so we have to make a makeshift torch and harvest cap wires scrap wires in the dark and then craft wires from those scrap wires so that will be the final stage of this box okay so what do i need so wires need scrap wire, blood or makeshift torch. Okay. So I'll need two makeshift torches logically. Makeshift torch needs electric petals and glow. Uh, oh, some electric petals are lying out here. Nice. Hey, it's raining. I didn't notice that. Apparently, it makes no difference to us. So I'm not bothered about it. 
petals and some stem basically these uh, small flowers that you see so these are lamp posts broken light posts and from then we get to dismantle them and get uh, scrap wires now the fun thing is the torchlight allows us to go into the dark and dispel away those scary eyes basic mining wires no we need blood ore and a makeshift torch let's make the blood ore first and then for the makeshift torch i need okay i need one of those plants there electric plants what's the name of them electric flower okay so electric flowers that gives us both petal and stems conductive stems can we make uh, yes we can finally we can make the wire and let's go ahead and place it in this the hard box okay so this is called the hard box error there's some error what's the issue fix error yes let's please get uh, attached okay hey something wrong i think something what the we died and they told us it's a good job i didn't get it but okay well you know why that is that is because we are an android there are a production line of us it's a subservience -serv test okay begin what's the square root of 143 i don't know actually that's right nobody knows interesting computational systems complete good enough android is fit for deployment analyzing survival aptitude developed a battery that lets you live for a whooping 14 minutes how do i spend it try to find a replacement battery obviously okay that's incorrect i will self destruct if my proprietary battery is tampered with top scientists have devised a battery that's 14 minutes so what do you do that limited time we restore all stations in 14 minutes that means we can do it if there's a dark creature appearing uh, approaching what do we do we run away that's incorrect replacements costs are cheaper if you accept the inevitable so they ask that same question again and the solution is do nothing and get eaten filling up the stomach space of the creature will ensure successful future missions estimated lifespan of android 3 minutes android remains fit for deployment so we've got 14 minutes of time and they guess we can do it for Three minutes head also oh, basically our hands and legs are more important than our heads android is committed and ready for deployment so basically android does not question much it just goes ahead and does its work oh we spawned right here next to the dead body of us oh and we can dismantle that that's amazing so basically we can dismantle the previous employee scrap wire scrap metal oh wow so basically we were basically just moving scrap pile friendship pact with the hard box terms and conditions govern the use of your life by being alive and reading the sentence you accept these terms without any exception or reservation if you disagree with this term then you may opt out by reporting yourself to the employee wish fulfillment and recycling center what happened here an employee received a promotion. Oh, lucky. How can I get promoted? Number one company value is sacrifice. Are you ready for assignment? I came off the assembly line. Ready? Assigned to repair station three and continue to upgrade me. Sounds easy enough. Where do I start? The fuel depot needs a constant supply of fuel. Set it up and then return back to me. Dangers I should know about, but you know what? What does it matter? Say no more. Okay, now we have an item finder. This helps us uh, search for very specific items out in the wild. So as you see, we are birthed anew. We do not care about our past. We are here to do a job and that's what we shall do. We shall go get it done. Getting it done is the very uh, underappreciated ability of our generation. To be honest, our past generations didn't really think about stuff a lot. They went and got shit done. Regardless of the consequences, they went and got shit done. Today we uh, reflect a bit more. True, it has its benefits, but it also has its uh, disadvantages. 
I refuse to believe that anything can only be good or only be bad. Everything has two sides to the coin. How we as individuals take or approach certain situations is the only defining factor. Now this year Android has a torch so that he can travel out into the dark, brave the fears of the dark and he goes to find some foreign scrap. What do we have here? We just have to follow that marker. Okay, I get. So there is something of a factory type situation here. You know what? I'm just going to leave. I could have got some free items from there if I was patient. But well, I am an android. I don't think differently. I just follow the rules uh, mentioned to me. Broken light. Well, since it's here on its way, and I know we will be needing those scrap wires, we are getting attacked. I tried jumping away, and that actually kept me alive. To be honest, it's all about reacting in the moment. Thankfully, we will not get attacked anymore. So just surviving that one encounter was enough for us, and we jump, jumped away to safety. What's this? We can download some more recipes. It's funny how I get teleported back here every time. So I can't run away and do something else instead of this. That's smart design right there. Okay, so now we can make ignots out of ores. And ores are got from uh, mines. So it's a three-step process. How do we get the ores? We can harvest it. Okay, now we need blood food. So they've not played around with us. They've directly told us that's the final thing you need now. There's a lot of a learning curve here. Okay, so this is the research uh, thing. Now the light bulb can also be made, which is which are these things, which is like a permanent torch. Let's set up one there. Now this game obviously makes it difficult for me to do something else because at times it's very specifically said which uh, hex or not hex, which he square the item must be placed on. Scrap chest, please. Let's make one. So the scrap chests need these ores. So right now I'm just going to go ahead with the game because it wants me to do something in the short term. I'll just go ahead and do it in the short term. Why? Because later we can just dismantle stuff and remove, I mean, pick it up for zero cost and place it again somewhere else. So that's the perfect way to ensure that nothing is wasted. In these kind of games, I have noticed a big, big focus on... Uh, you know chasing perfection and if you ask me in games like this that does make a difference now I'm going to need a lot of blood rocks or blood ore so I'm just going to mine this blood rock myself for now and the research is complete so let's see what else we can research right now blood ore grab ore uh, no we are making something we are setting those things to be made why so that it happens automatically while we do something else using your time uh, most efficiently is what makes the difference grab over please and let's uh, make a factory please while we are at it okay so it's, since it's the first time we are making this they make a big deal about it So the factory just needs blood ore and the ore harvester needs a factory, a grav ore and a grav rock. So basically that's why you need a good amount of factories. Because yeah, the ore harvester is a factory in itself. What do you think? Okay, now I need to place a scrap chest again right in front here. So basically down here is the tab where you can uh, set items that you would set or require. Automate blood fuel, craft and place ore harvester, craft and place graph pipes, craft and place a factory, make 20 blood fuel. Okay, okay. Now they want me to again put more blood rock in there. I don't know why. Because well, if there is just one blood rock and one grav rock, that would be the best way to go about it, to be honest. But they are making me uh, put one more. So that I think that would mean that I should put one more ore harvester on a grav rock too, logically. I need factories and for factories I need blood rock sorry blood ore so let's make some this is the fuel duo and it's running low as you can see it's running low uh, it's low on fuel 
do we have glow we have four glows let's drop those four in for now so th these are your temporary uh, sources of fuel why i suggest keeping them at maximum or using the first time that you get to keep it at maximum is definitely uh, so that definitely so that uh, at the time that the uh, alert comes up you can immediately go and fill it up for maximum such so that you are you have the maximum amount of time used most efficiently yeah in these kind of games i do get a bit touched up with efficiency and at that times at times that does make my head go a bit more brr through that ore harvester please uh, let's set up the ore harvester why is it moving that way okay that no issues i think we can even work with that graph pipes huh Okay, so I need a grab ore definitely, and I need grab rocks for that. Let's set up a few of that to happen. Okay, finally we've made grab pipes, scrap metal, and grab ore. What do we do when we run out of scrap metal? That's going to be, we'll have to go out back into the wild again. Let's make some. graph pipes please three graph pipes each graph pipe is a set of 5 so that's like 15 15 is a pretty decent number if you ask me okay then let's send out those you know what let's uh, as i was guessing it seemed right it did want me to go down this road because uh my objective panel up to the top left did not change so if you don't go in accordance with what they are saying you will not get ahead that's basically what uh, they are doing so right now i have just 5% battery i'm just struggling to survive is just going to be a few more seconds for me but i'm going to try and just i don't know not work for the machine just leave these few seconds for myself to experience life Okay, so I can increase my life by pressing tab. Well, that's something they didn't figure out. And a new version of me has come. Ah, one thirty only. The new version of me is in a bad spot. I didn't see my number because there were more important things to think of. But the new version of me is. got a lot of uh, blood fuel spawned right in there backpack is full huh let's first take this dude let's dismantle him the first thing we need to do is uh, take back our technology otherwise you know our technology would be too advanced for primitive civilizations such as them so we need to make some space what do we do can't make anything so so as to free up some space the only other thing is why don't we shift some items into this backpack oh so that backpack is acting as a scrap chest just because it is at the end of that uh uh end of that line wow that's actually interesting you know that's how you sh you should go ahead and use one android you should use him as a free scrap chest go in somewhere where you know that uh, you will be so you need to have a plan for that from before it, it, it you won't be able to think of it right then and there you should have a plan for a design and you should know that you would need a scrap box somewhere and you go and place the backpack right there that's a, that's an amazing strategy let's place two factories there why so that we can first uh, turn a a blood uh, rock into a blood ore and then that blood ore into a blood ignot once we get those blood ignots we can what we can do is make some fuel can't we 
how about uh, we try and merge these two lines from the grav ore we send out a line and we also send out uh, i mean also place a grav ignot maker on that line and subsequently from this side you know what let's first place those and send it here what else would be doing after that is okay so now we've got more space because of uh, the research that has completed good for us huh what do we have in the backpack right now okay so oh so even the factories can have uh, something stored in them that's actually interesting that's actually interesting Okay, so we can store some things. Wait, what happened? Where did the backpack go? I think we took out everything from there, and that's why the backpack uh, just uh, disintegrated. Let's place the direct line to blood fuel here. Can we do that? No. Then uh, it it would need. those grav ignots coming in too uh actually you know what let's send you both somewhere down the middle instead of uh, having you right there okay in this new spot we shall have the fuels blood fuel Okay, so blood fuel will be produced now. I'm guessing, but we need uh, glow flowers there too. You no, know, that blood fuel is made out of three things: those glow flowers, blood ignots, and grav ignots. So I'm guessing, uh, I and mean, the only other way to live our life would be to constantly go ahead and pick flowers, and uh, then go ahead and place those flowers in that factory, because you can store. Uh, items in that factory so you spend a good amount of time keeping that factory really full of a lot of flowers why cuz then they will make blood fuel constantly but then now the thing is you don't need that much of blood fuel to be honest cuz one blood fuel is direct 800 watts of charge like how one global was just 100 watts of charge one uh blood fuel is 800 watts of charge so that's kind of nearly like two blood fuels to one uh, or two androids sorry sorry two blood fuels to one android to be honest one android would just need to consume two blood fuels so as to uh, have access and free time to do anything and everything else and also i mean to be honest i, I was looking at this as i was thinking of this as post apocalyptic earth but we don't have blood or and grav or whatever those two things are so probably this is another planet and we are safe from uh, the machines taking over at least i hope so let's make factories while we are at it how else would we spend our time right now the only other thing we could do is uh, get an ore harvester and double up the speed of that see that that's the thing with games such as these there is a period at the end where uh, you know you set up everything that you had to do and then it's just passing time in those moments uh, i think i think that uh, well i have been able to beat the game it's small guilty pleasures i take my small guilty pleasures graph pipe 
even though it uh, sends me down a much larger road fuel depot is low on fuel but right now i would rather get this done 22 okay we'll need to really rush can we pick up a hey this has gone really low let's pick up a blood fuel and let's rush all the way okay it's one and lights out lights out but no issues we were not far away and there were no uh, dark eyes right inside us <laughs> well yes i do play the game a bit risky okay so there's some blood ignored here and my health is low what do i do i don't really need this backpack anywhere so that would mean that i can just ensure that probably probably we set things in the right places that's it nothing else would be needed seven six five four three what can we do let's let's smell a plant or get a few more plants this android is definitely focused more on the living you know being of use to the machines setting stuff uh, somewhere inside and staying right in front so that he can be scrapped quickly new dude is in make 20 blood fuel that's our goal right now and our factory is already on it so it's just a matter of time now i am doing what i guess i would be doing if uh, the demo didn't end here wow so that was a lot of scrap material the research is complete what else can we research right now backpack size increased to 18 slots okay uh, the stack size is increased so basically each item here for example uh, you can see 14 12 11 whatever if once they cross uh, the stack size the first stack size is i think 25 they spill over and take another slot so that's in a way in a long term uh, allowing you to store more of one item in, instead of just directly more items so both are definitely necessary in uh, each in itself blood fuel how much we've got 22 blood fuel and ladies and gentlemen that's it we've uh, done the objective hard box update one new recipe what are the new things we get ignot quartz glass and pump so quartz glass and water pump have been uh, the new three things employee connection software how am i doing so far using the data from 10345 models we have performed absolutely average great what's next incredibly short lifespan i still don't know why you designed to ask so many questions well that's me so steven kyle and francoi are working on this if i've taken if i've pronounced your name names wrong apologies and definitely this is a game you should go wishlist i really enjoyed the concept of it and the link to their uh, steam page will be down in the description below if you enjoyed this video then i'm sure you would leave a like and also do consider sharing and subscribing because that would really bring a smile to my face this is ashes bashes signing off until next video game on <laughs>